and you can see that clearly uh, three days in a row is taking its toll on the sky. My nose is being kind of congested. <clears throat> you can kind of feel it in your throat uh, and you can, you know, uh, kind of notice the difference in your breathing and um, sometimes uh, you even notice that the people sometimes their moods are different on the days where they spray and there's one right there he's going right through the clouds and then you zoom in on it and then it goes out of focus yep anyways so there it is ladies and gents three days in a row Phoenix Arizona chem sky hashtag spray day all right, so take a look at what they're doing right here. This is already, this one, this one was sprayed like maybe 20, 15, 20 minutes ago. I don't know, what is it, four or something, almost five o'clock, whatever. And so they wanna cover up that little point. This plane right now is going south. That's not exhaust, ladies and gentlemen. Exhaust doesn't spread out and create clouds. See this thin one spraying right now, that's literally going to be the same size as this one in 15 or 20 minutes and it's gonna spread out and it's gonna merge with all the rest of this. And there you got the X marks the spot. Say, oh, that's dead. No, that's just dark cloud. No, 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 no. There's like one little dark natural little somewhat little rain cloud, it's tiny. Right? The rest of this, let me let me give you all a perfect illustration. I'm gonna teach you now, pay attention. All this right here, these darker clouds, this is heavy metals. That is aluminum particulates. Sometimes it looks red during the sunset. I, I'll, I'll prove it to you. YouTube will not block this video because they know what I'm saying is a fact. From the solar radiation management programs of geoengineering and weather modification, from what they're spraying in the sky, to create artificial cloud cover, they know that aluminum, aluminum aerosol is the main part, it's actually bigger than just America. If you see what's happening right now, this is a prime example. This is part of the United Nations Treaty. And us being connected to the United Nations, see what's happening. Now here we have this artificial cloud cover. Look at the sun. The sun is shining right through the cloud. <laughs> Not very efficient, and at the same time, you can hear it in my voice. They've sprayed three days in a row now. And as another example, um, <clears throat> I can feel it in my nasal passages. Um, yeah, it's not very efficient. We're all breathing this. This is going into the crops. This is going into our water supply. I mean, we're surrounded by it. What is one of the main things that, uh, what is it? Aluminum creates uh, uh, dementia and brainish memory issues and alzheimer's all kinds of degenerative health issues and god knows what else that that they have in this concoction that they're spraying to create artificial cloud cover it's absolutely ridiculous right and you can see right now just at the time that it is right now it's like uh four something whatever in the afternoon almost five you know so the sun's probably going to be down in an hour whatever but you can literally see through these white clouds, this artificial chem sky, right? You can see the dirtiness and that's not dirt. Those are heavy metals, aluminum specifically and God knows. Just wanna point out a difference for the new subscribers to my channel. I've noticed it in the last few days, five, four, a few people have <laughs> dropped off my channel because they're probably like, what is this dude talking about with all this chemtrail stuff? What is he talking about? Now, this is normal. See this right here? This is what's called a contrail. C-O-N-T-R-A-I-L. Contrail, short for condensation trail. It's totally natural. As you can see, the trail is dissipating because it's exhaust, right? Let me zoom back. So I'm gonna record this, just bear with me uh, about a minute here. So yeah, so this is normal, especially at this time of year, the atmosphere, temperature, dew point pressure, all that stuff that people want to hit me up with. Yes, all that is natural. When it's like this, it will leave a little trail. Sometimes the trail is half the size of that. Sometimes the trail is that long. 
But what I'm trying to explain is there is a clear example of a normal condensation trail when a plane is 30, 40, 50,000 feet. If it's a commercial airliner, 30,000, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, uh, Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport. Uh, we definitely got a lot of air traffic out here for sure. There's no doubt about that. Um, but when you see chemtrails, you can clearly see the difference between a chem chemtrail, that's something that's being sprayed as part of the solar radiation management program, geoengineering weather modification, and an actual plane that's flying at such high altitude that it does, the exhaust does make a long trail, but that's about as long as it gets right there. That's the example. It's not these you know, lines that go on for miles and miles and miles. South. That's not exhaust, ladies and gentlemen. Exhaust doesn't spread out and create clouds. See this thin one spraying? That's literally going to be the same size as this one in 15 or 20 minutes. And it's going to spread out and it's going to merge with all the rest of this.